Ah, isn't R2 just adorable? Anyways, I have a replay for you guys today. It's actually the first ever pools medal I've got in the game. You know, 30,000 matches later, and here I am. Like, I got mul I got multiple 8 kills. I got multiple Radley Walters. Actually, how many Radley Walters do I have? 43 of them. Okay. And then 5 Kalibanovs, and then 1 pools. Alrighty. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at my equipment. Ah, oh, that's a very basic loadout. Optics, power terrain, and then camouflage. Honestly, if you're playing in low tiers, camouflage is absolutely broken because um, at tier six and lower, concealment is just you're you're unspottable at times. You're really hard to spot. Let's not press A to jump inside of a match. Um, but other than that, let's go and take a look at the commander. Skill wise, we're running born leader. I'm here. Born Leader, Rapid Loading, Off-Road Driving, Track Mechanic, Situational Awareness, Sixth Sense, Camouflage Expertise, Silent Driving, Snapshot, and there's one perk that I don't ever recommend for concealment builds. Green Thumb is one of the most useless things that you can have on your tank, and the reason why? How many positions on Sand River is there to use foliage? How many positions on Himmelsdorf is there to use foliage? How many positions on uh, Berlin? I mean, the, the, you can honestly sell like the entire top section. And then Corella. There's not a lot of viable positions that Green Thumb is useful. So that's just my opinion on it. You guys are welcome for a th little bit of a extra bit of care for this one, I guess. I mean, I, I'm i just here by this point looking at this like, oh yeah, I got to click this one. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay here. We're going to be on Pearl River. Honestly, I love Pearl River. This is a really good map as I'm moving everything. I'm not making a whole lot of noise doing it. Now, starting off, Deathstroke is grinding out his tier 6. So I was all like, you know what, I'm totally done to join you and help you out. I have no problem doing that. Um, I don't like playing in tier 6, because, like, am I alone in believing that tier 6 is now, like, the new Sil Club tier? It used to be 3 and 4, but now I feel like it's moved up to 6. 6 feels like a Sil Clubbing, uh, just to the fullest. By the way, this tank is freaking huge. It's gigantic. 145 standard pins, some really slow shell velocity. I, I believe the fastest shell on this is around 700. Yeah, 773 meters a second. And then the heat rounds, they have 200 heat penetration, which actually makes this tank pretty competitive against tier 8s with a 6 second reload and then uh, 220 alpha. Yeah, 220 alpha. Module damage is in the range of 119. That's not too bad. That can help you get some consistent tracks. I mean, you are rocking an 88 millimeter on this, so yeah, it just, you can get some decent overmatches. 30 millimeter plates is a big no-go, but 25 millimeter plates, 20 millimeter plates, no problem. Honestly, there's probably some random overmatches with 88s. I just don't want to do the math right now. And uh, I, I am brain dead. I just got out of the shower. I I look like I am just, you know, absolutely dreading everything right now because I'm red, my hair is wet. I'm in the way. Like always, my big fat face. And so far, we're up to 73 damage. We got one shot in so far. You know, this position early game, it's like there's really no point in rushing in. We just want to sit back, wait, get some foliage. And here I am, like, back on the rock. Back up. Can I, can I knock over this tree? No. I gotta aim lower. <laughs> and what was going through my head is like, what's the splash radius on this? It's 1.4 meters, and I, I hit the tree in the wrong spot and sent it backwards. I wanted it to fall forward, that way it was easier to pull into, but I guess backwards was decent, because I, I got a decent spot. Um, not just that, due to the slow shell velocity, these rounds really do like to arc up and down. So taking blind shots randomly across the map is a complete pain in the butt. And I loaded the heat thinking, maybe these rounds might fly straight. Maybe? No. They, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that went over them. Like, by a lot. And then trying to lead. There we go. It's like lobbing. It's like a mortar flying at him. There was... Yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoy this tank, though. Close quarters combat. It's pretty fun with the reload and the 220 alpha. Now, uh, two kills. Two shots. Blade would be proud. Uh, actually, Blade's with us in this game. I should have said something during the match. <laughs> uh, but so far, my... My goal in this game has simply been shoot, <laughs> move up, stop, shoot a tree, a repeat process, and then sitting here like, oh, this tank's huge. 
and then forgetting everything about it. Six degrees of gun depression is not the greatest, but this is a really good spot. Honestly, I didn't even think about this spot prior, but now that I'm sitting in it, and now that I'm looking at it again, this is a really good haul down position if you can take control of the top section. I've never really used it, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know, I'm grinding out the 780 right now because I never did a review in that tank prior. I'm grinding out the TL7, and then I'm grinding out the, the Bison T103 as well. And then I'm trying to 3-mark the CS52 uh, list. So my, my schedule has just been busy. I've been playing a lot of random games. I got a lot of content ready to make videos. I'm just not taking the time out to make videos. So I guess that's my fault. I just gotta get into it. There we go. Snapshot 201. So for the 1,342 damage, 216 assisted. Uh, I do believe that is spot assist. I mean, my spot range right now is that this tank is 473 with the optics and then that situational awareness and born leader. So, I mean, you've got some really good view range inside this low tier. You're gonna be able to catch people out at 400 meters, maybe even at 445, depending on their concealment. But if people are playing in this early game and they're newer to the game, I just, I feel mean because, I mean, tier five, it's capped out of tier five. So I guess this isn't considered sill clubbing because Tier 4s, well, they'll see Tier 5s, but they'll never see Tier 6. So I guess like 3 and 4 is still clubbing. Tier 5 can be considered still clubbing. Uh, I have no idea anymore. That, that Removing 1s and 2s, in my opinion, was a really bad idea. But the hit point buff on a lot of the tanks in the lower tiers was actually pretty okay, because a lot of tanks have got a lot of ammunition. Now, we're using bushes. We're using our concealment. So that's what we should be doing. And honestly, the reload on this tank feels amazing. Anything that's got in, in the range of like a six second reload feels really good. Like 320 alpha and seven second reloads. Um, even uh, 280 in like the 6.8 range reloads, those are still really good guns. So like Panther 2, E50. I love the E50 with the 88. So ever since they buffed it, the thing's been amazing. And so far up to 1,943 damage, uh, 338 assisted. Hellcat 105, uh, I, I got spotted. And I was wondering where I got spotted from. I honestly have no idea. Maybe the Hellcat caught me. I might have pulled just too far outside the bush. And have you guys noticed that some of the bushes aren't working? After I've been gone for seven months and there's some positions that I go to that you used to have to get within the proxy range to spot me and I'm not being spotted. It's a little bit confusing. Like knocking over this tree, coming right here. I mean, I understand that whenever you're concealed, you want to back up and get the bush to be solid before you fire through it to have that full advantage. Like right here, 5.5 second, reload. Gonna wait, gonna wait. He's behind a bush. I fire, and I thought it was safe. I should have backed up, but I thought with the foliage in his way as well that I was gonna be completely fine. Good little lead there with the 733 uh, velocity rounds. And no more shots in the Hellcat. So. Now, it is a 4 versus 5, our other medium, he's pushing up in the middle. I'm trying to ping the map, letting him know where I, I think I got shot from. That might have been what that was. And yeah, there we go, the M41. I actually can pronounce the first name of that tank, holy crap. And then the M41 FL10, that is a 4 shot, is that a 4 shot autoloader? A tier 6, I can't remember off the top of my head. And Blade is playing the Firefly VC because he was just asking, like, what's a good sniping tank for this tier? And I told him Firefly. And, uh, <laughs> He, he spent the first two weeks back in the game with his reverse inversed. So whenever he would hit reverse, it like rather than holding left on the thumbstick as you're going in reverse and you turn, you're backing up left, he went right. So it was inversed reverse controls, which is default. I don't know why that's default. That is one of the most, like imagine logging into the game and when we're trying to back up to avoid something that it just, it goes completely opposite of what you want it to be. And just having, just, it, I, I don't even know why it was a thing. And there we go. BDR dropped out. BDRs, those have a 90 millimeter tier 5, I believe. Those are nasty guns in the low tier. I don't know if they're 240 or 220 alpha, but I know that they are not fun to go against. And as I'm talking about it, I'm trying to find the tank in the Trek tech tree. The Trek tree. Yeah, the, the Trek tree. There we go. We're going we're gonna to leave it at that and just... Yep, uh, we're gonna be um, just understanding my Muppetry. Incompatible with gun or turret mode, so I can't compare the module. I can't even look at it unless I buy the tank. Thanks, Wargaming. 
You know, it used to be easy, but instead you made it very difficult. Now I gotta use the website to do everything because you don't know how to do anything in the game to make things work right. And then you have me sitting here wondering to myself why it is that we don't have shared modules anymore. Whenever we can unlock the 90 millimeter on the uh, the, the M6 and then get the 90 millimeter on the T29 so you don't have to run the 75 millimeter for like 15 matches. You wonder why people are not having fun with low tier grinds. It's because of the shared modules we used to have, but now they're gone. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm on a rant now. Because, you know, everyone's going to agree with me on that one, though. Shared modules were the greatest thing ever in the game. And it was a feature that was removed. Just like how Sixth Sense used to be a feature, and now it's a perk. It should be a feature, not a perk. Or it should be, like, a tenth bonus perk on the cruise. That way you have, like, your standard commanders that aren't hero commanders, that aren't two-star commanders, that aren't just freaking thousand gold and you still gotta put six cents on it because it's a perk i i kind of wish it was like just a, a tenth bonus perk that was attached to all crews except for hero crews and have hero crews and other crews have random perks for for instance like um commanders like let, let's say uh the the helion uh which is just a halloween hot wheels event uh character let's say like you give him iron mace as his bonus perk. That way he has 10 perks instead of just a 9. That way it's like whenever you're brand new to the game, you have one open perk slot, and then you have your bonus perk slot, which is always assigned and you can't change it. That would be cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm just on a rant now. But uh, just, come on, make it a game mechanic already. PC did it. Not just that, uh, HE 2.0. Please bring that over. Oh, that's right. I'm working on the old reliable too. I was not enjoying it. And KV1 versing 200 heat pin, uh, goodbye and good day. By this point, I wasn't even paying attention to my kills. Uh, the only thing I could really, you know, that's going through my head in this match is like, wow, I got 3,000 damage in a tier 6. This is abusive. Keg, this is abusive. Tier 6. Um, just horror. Just, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, everything changes all the time. And there we go. There's the little uh, M41. Not the Bulldog, but the Tier 5 TD that I can't pronounce the uh, Savamont. I'm not even going to try it. That's... I'm good. And then as soon as this screen popped up, I sat there and I'm like, oh, is that a Pools medal? The first one I've ever gotten? Holy crap! <laughs> That's Tier 6 for you. <laughs> 3,365 damage dealt, 21 direct hits, 3,038 assisted, 240 blocked, a mastery badge, and I'm ecstatic. I went over to the pools medal like, holy crap, I got one. Like, I've never had a pools medal on my account before, and that just made me stoked. I was like, wow, that's, that's great. Anyways, you guys, that's my Skoda T40. I, I actually enjoy playing my Skoda T40. Um, ever since I got it, for, I've gotten this tank for free, like, four times, so... And then they also have a different variant of it, which is just a skinned variant that I should probably use because I don't need to put camo on it. Uh, but I, I like having custom camouflage. Uh, this match I did seven days ago. Um, and I, it's just been sitting there and I was like, I don't know what to, what to do. I have no idea what to do. I got a pools medal. Do I want to make a video on it? Do I not want to make a video on it? In all honesty, I should just start making videos on tanks in general and just go over gameplay. And I don't, I don't know. I like change up things. Maybe do daily uploading for a while and just sit back and chat and realize this light is sitting on top of a coke can to get the right angle because it's other than that it's facing straight down and yeah yeah that's enough you guys have a great day afternoon night whatever it is uh if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you enjoyed my rant let me know in the comments down below your opinions on cruise and if it should add a bonus perk for all the base commanders that you can buy like come in recruit commander and it's immediately straight to gold like all right, yeah, boom, 500,000 here, buy him, and he has a 10th bonus perk, which is just six cents. That way people actually have half a brain knowing that they're spotted inside of a match rather than like, oh, someone's aiming at me. Oh, I'm tracked. Oh. Oh, oh, my camera. It's doing some weird dumb things, so whatever. Um, other than that, you guys, I'm out. Have a great time. I I'm going to go slack off and play tanks now, and see what's going on with my camera. I think some of the settings change.